and one more from the waterfall. The question for quick questions and answers today is, why do people often walk away from those living with depression? Getting out of depression requires a good support system, and depression will often cause people to sabotage their own support system. There are many reasons that people often walk away from or avoid those living with depression. Here are a few of those reasons. For some people, being around someone in clinical depression can be emotionally draining. Those who are very sensitive might start feeling depression themselves without even realizing it. Also, some depressed people will unconsciously attempt getting energy from those around them. This can cause people to feel tired and drained around the depressed individual. Some people in depression become narcissistic and are unable to give to others. All they can do is, is to attempt to fulfill their own needs without having much to offer in return. Most people get tired of a one-way relationship. Often people in depression will repeat the same themes over and over again because their thought and emotional processes are stuck in a loop. Many people around them will get tired of hearing the same stories and complaints repeated incessantly. Some people in depression can be hypersensitive and become angry and abusive easily. They have little control over their emotions and they lash out at others, even those they are closest to and those trying to help them. Many people in deep depression have no desire to do anything but sleep and isolate. I remember that well. This makes it difficult for others to cope with them. Most people who are not depressed need to get out and be active to socialize with others. Having a fun time periodically is important to most people. These are just a few reasons that people stay away from those who are depressed. There are certainly many other reasons. It would take an entire book to, ex to explore them all. If you are in any sort of relationship with someone in clinical depression, it can be helpful to speak with them about this. Ask them what you can do to help and support them. If they're open to it, you can ask if you might be able to join in on one of their therapy sessions to get some specific advice. Or you can ask them to ask their therapist for some suggestions for you. I know this is an extremely difficult situation. I've been on both sides of it. It takes incredible patience and love and caring and compassion to stay around a depressed person. And for the depressed person, it takes a great deal of understanding and commitment on your part to do the work you need to do to get out of depression and to understand that sometimes it's difficult for someone to cope with it. I hope this is helpful for you. Take care.